I made more money in 2020 than I've ever made in a single year in my entire life. Thank you. It was because I was on unemployment. <laughs> and I got those stimmies, baby, those stimmies. Mm. I always thought comedy was filling the vast emptiness I feel inside. I just never tried money. That's better. <laughs> Way better. Who cares how funny you are? Let's go to cheesecake. <laughs> Tell me a joke, clown. <laughs> clown! I went home during the pandemic, but I had to leave because my mom's boyfriend moved in. And he keeps trying to be my friend. And we love Terry, but pick a lane, you know? He's always like, hey, let's be friends. What can I do to be your friend? I'm like, you could stop having sex with my mom. <laughs> I don't ask much from my friends, Terry. But... <laughs> I might have to draw the line. It's not a quality I'm looking for. And a friend, glad you're doing it. Glad you're banging my mom, but we don't need a kayak, you know? <laughs> Why would I, a guy who has friends that don't bang my mom, take on you, someone who does indeed, logistically, make it make sense? You know, it's funny, I did go kayaking with Terry. That's my guy, I love Terry. I sat my mom down, I was like, what are your intentions with my friend Terry? It's cool that you're dating my friend, I'm glad you make him happy, but if you hurt him. Because <laughs> I have my friend's backs, you know? It's weird being his friend, though. Sometimes it's like, you know, at least when your dad's banging your mom, he's like, go to bed. Do your homework. You're like, ah, you're the man. I'm afraid of you. But Terry bangs my mom. He's like, hey, you want to smoke a bowl? No. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a rip. Come on. <laughs> and just smoking post-sex bowls with Terry. <laughs> Out there ripping a sativa with Terry Bear. Come on. My third dad, if he can lock it down, but he won't. That's the thing. I know it. He doesn't have it. And now that I'm his friend, I feel like I should be like, dude, friend of friend, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we'll hang out later, but I don't want her hurting you. But I do want a third dad. That'd be so cool. First dad relationship, boring. Very lesson-based, a lot of yelling. Second dad, he'll try to be like serious one time, but they have no power, you know. One time we'll be like, hey man, could you not do that? And you're like, you're not my dad. He's like, I guess doing that's all right. <laughs> Stepdads are like those stoplights before the freeway where you're like, I'm probably just gonna go. <laughs> I don't recognize your authority at all. <laughs> Two cars per green, fucking 10 cars per green. <laughs> it's the freeway last I checked. <laughs> Am I in America? I want to be a dad, but I'm afraid of ruining my child. I think we all have that, that fear. Because I think parents, you just forget what it's like to be a kid. You give bad advice. My dad's advice to keep me off drugs was, if anyone ever offers you drugs, just tell them, hey, my dad doesn't think drugs are cool, and walk away. I was like, I'll just overdose. That's so Don't want to say that to someone who could see me twice in my lifetime. I'm afraid of having a son that could beat me up. That's pretty freaky. I'm just like, hey kiddo, how's the homework coming along? He just beats the shit out of me. <laughs> Are there any parents in the audience? I played a lot of video games over the pandemic, maybe with your children, I don't know. <laughs> but they're full of hate, I think you should know. Your kids are full of hatred. And they hate me, specifically. One kid told me I played like my nipples were too low. <laughs> nine months, nine months ago this happened. Every day I get out of the shower and I look in the mirror. And say, <sighs> that might be a little low. <laughs> and I have body issues all by myself. I don't need kids. I can't grow a beard, I'm almost 28. I've been doing No Shave November since January 31st, 1994. <laughs> and it's frustrating, because look at this, look at this. Cameras, get a look, zoom, what is this? What is this? We got hair, we can grow hair, that's not the issue. It's where we grow the hair. Wherever I don't want a beard, there's a beard. <laughs> My ass, fuck you. Anyone, anyone in this parking lot, 
You think you have more hair on your ass than I do. Let's go out there after the show. <laughs> Slap some cash on the sidewalk, tough guy. <laughs> Pull our pants down on three like an old Western shootout. <laughs> it's cr I trick you with the face. I'm like a pool hustler. I get you in and I'm like, I'm a pro. <laughs> It's insane looking in my ass. Just a forest of black hair. It's like when you close your eyes. I hear a crunch when I sit on stuff. It's the real deal. It's the real deal, baby. It's an issue every day. I shaved it once when I was 12 because I was like horny and I think it came back extra fierce. That's what they say happens. Puberty. Puberty's crazy. Puberty's crazy because you're just this kid that likes baseball and the color orange. And then you wake up one day and you're like, I'd fuck that couch. <laughs> That's weird. I'm gonna fuck that couch though. I'm gonna tell a story now and it doesn't have an ending and it's kind of gross, so I'm sorry. But <laughs> the act, the act. The first time I ever watched online pornography, my father caught me. I was, I was in the sixth grade and I was losing my mind. I was so horny. I was taking a lot of Adderall at the time, too. <laughs> so I'm on meth, losing my mind. I was so horny in the sixth grade. I couldn't even get through science textbooks, you know? I remember there were like diagrams of like, you remember the lady where like they show her organs and her stomach's invisible? I ripped that out of the book and I kept it in my closet for a while. For a while. And then my friend was like, you can see naked people on the internet. And I was like, I'll use that information immediately. That's like the most exciting thing I've ever heard. I'm so tired of the invisible stomach lady. This cartoon invisible stomach lady, she doesn't do it for me anymore. I've advanced past. And so I went home, I snuck into my father's computer room. I got completely naked, I don't know why. Just how I was doing it back then. First few years, naked every time. There was no rush. There was no rush in those days. Bah, I had socks on. <laughs> socks, completely naked. I sit in the family computer chair. This is everybody's chair. <laughs> this isn't Michael's chair. Skin to leather, I don't care. And I'm on a Dell computer. It's, it's pumping hot air in the room. I'm sweating, I'm sliding around on the family computer chair. It's my night, baby. And I didn't know what pornography was. I just knew you could see naked people, so I didn't know what to look up, so I Googled vagina.com. <laughs> where I started. And it wasn't a real website, but Google knew what I was doing. <laughs> Google was there with the assist. was like, did you mean? And I, I, I did mean. <laughs> didn't know how, mu how much I meant. You know, Google was showing me stuff. I was like, I didn't know I meant that, but I fucking mean that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Click, click, click. Refresh. So I'm in there. Who knows how long? Days have gone by. Ugh. I finally grew the beard I've always wanted. <laughs> And all of a sudden, I feel my father behind me. I just feel him. I know, so easy to feel your dad behind you when you're completely naked, <laughs> watching porn on his computer, basically. And he's right, he's looking at my, my, own, my naked back, his only boy's naked back. And as if he's James Bond, I do a full naked Dr. Evil, because I'm on a computer chair, so it swivels. <laughs> so I go like a full naked, just like, hello. <laughs> I should have had a cat, you know? It should have been like, well, well, well. <laughs> Somebody's home sooner than I thought they'd be. <laughs> but I wasn't a villain or cool, so all I really did was like, oh. <laughs> and he made some horrible dad sound. He was like, mm -mm. <laughs> A piece of him died and left, and it sounded like, mm -mm. And I killed him. I watched him die in those eyes. I didn't even recognize my father in those eyes. I saw Tom for the first time. <laughs> I saw the man my father was. And we're just there. And I know I broke him because just like a year went by. And we're just like, Ugh. And then he pointed at me and he said, don't another. And then he ran out of the room. <laughs> no one's ever said don't another in the history of the earth. <laughs> Those words have never been next to each other. That's a brand new thing. Brand new thing he said. Makes no sense to say don't another. But I knew what he meant because I was like, I'm probably gonna do it another. Many and others on this. I think I'm finally good at something. I could be the best. But he was cool. He like, uh, you know, I put all my clothes back on and we talked. He was like, it's nothing to be ashamed about. I was like, I think it's something to be ashamed about. <laughs> this is, it's okay to be ashamed about this. 
He's like, I'm not gonna tell anyone, which was nice. I don't know why the fuck you would, but... <laughs> Thanks for not bullying me, if that's what you mean. But I got caught because of the vagina.com. I didn't know that didn't just go away when you typed it, you know? So I t and I typed it in a few times. I didn't know how to spell that word. <laughs> I had some Fs in there, some Js, you know? So my sister used a computer. She's like, who went to four vagina.coms and like two fajita.coms? What's going on <laughs> in this home? I was like, oh, I get horny. It's the end of that story. <laughs> I, uh... Do you guys think the world's gonna end in our lifetime? Hell no. No, it's positive. David Attenborough, that guy thinks the world's gonna end. Do you know the Planet Earth guy? I'm David Attenborough. That guy? <laughs> you like do drugs, you turn that on. And you watch, he's so, <laughs> he's so, he's like, I like him because he'll show you nature, but he doesn't do it for free. He holds you accountable. <laughs> You'll be like, this is the greatest waterfall in all of the Amazon. And then it'll be like, and you're ruining it, you piece of shit. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? But if you watch long enough, it sounds like he's gonna end the world. You know, he's always like, these penguins won't make it through the winter. And if you pan out, he just has a sniper rifle on him. <laughs> well, my name isn't David R. Attenborough. <laughs> oh, to be the hand of God. <laughs> Smells his gun. But it does seem bad, you know? We're always in a drought. Every forest fire burns more acres than I even knew existed on the earth. Every forest fire is like, the fires burn three million acres. I'm always like, I should be on fire right now. I didn't even know we had that many acres at all. My friend has a house on two acres. It's the biggest place in the world. You tell me we don't have, we got all these acres? I don't get fired up. Like, we gotta do something about it. We gotta change something. And then I'll drive around and all the acres I care about are okay, so. I'm just like, ah, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, my name's Michael Longfellow. Thank you guys so much. Keep going for your house.